I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. If you have a set of tiles at home, get it out and give this exercise a try. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a nine. So we're going to be the dealer east. I'll get 14 random tiles and then I will create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Here's our starting hand. We have a couple of wins, a few dots, some bams, and cracks with a multiple. Since we have ones, twos, nine, white dragon, I think we could maybe play a year hand or something consecutive or even something with evens. We have two, four, six. There is a gap with no eight. So I think we're in between a year hand or consecutive run with ones, twos, and threes. This to me screams year. Let's try for a year hand. I'm going to take a photo of this starting hand because we're going to recreate it and try consecutive a second time around. So let's pick some tiles to discard. We're going to keep all the tiles for the year. That's ones, twos, nines, white, and wins. We have no flowers. That's okay though, because there are two hands with no flowers, the second one and the fourth one. So let's go ahead and discard these three. I'm going to take a picture of this one because we're going to recreate this pass. We're going to keep the flower and the two. There are no red dragons. Oh, yes, there are. There's a red dragon in there. A red dragon, but we need a lot more dragons than just one. So we have each suit represented. We do have half of news. I think we should go ahead and give up on the dragon. We could play news with cracks. 2019, we do have a gap. We need one more tile to pass. The other hand that we could potentially play is a one suit or a mixed suit option, the second one down. So if we give up one of these twos, I think that we still have some potential for a mixed suit Let's see, we have a nine. So since we have a nine, let's give up the two bam. Because if we get the one bam, we could do the second hand down and mix suits. So we're gonna pass these three. And I'm gonna take a photo there. We picked up a flower. We have a six and a four. Since we have a pair of flowers, we should consider the first hand. 2019 with a one and a nine. Two zero one nine one nine. Suit one, suit two, suit three. Let's give up on the wins. We could use this with the flowers or with these. So let's pass these. We'll take a photo of that. So far, so good. We don't need a pair of East. 
let's pass these. Let's take a photo there. No keepers. Let's pass these. We'll take a photo of that. We got a keeper and a keeper. Four flowers. We need help here, maybe with this. 2019, we need a nine dot and then pungs of the one or the nine. We have two tiles, to, three tiles to pass. And we'll take a photo of that. So here we have like numbers with fours and nine. I would not pass like numbers. I would say I want two for optional cross. So we have discards. Three away from the first hand under the year. And this hand is set. We can Kong, Pung, ready to win on a nine dot. I think that was a really good Charleston. Three discards. If you can get to four discards or less, I would say that was a success. So I want to compare this result to either consecutive run or evens. Now there was a gap with the even, so I think consecutive run with one, two, three was good. Let's compare. I'm going to recreate the starting hand. That's what we started with. So I'm going to recreate the Charleston now. Let's see. If we're playing consecutive run or evens, we have a gap with no eight. I really do think one, two, three, four consecutive run is going to be good here. I do not try to, I try not to pass the white dragons, so we're going to keep that. We can pass all these. So I'm thinking one through four, a range of one through four. We're just going to gather. We're not even going to look at the card to pick a hand. We're just going to gather. And when we run out of discards, then we'll pick a hand. So let's pass these three. We're going to gather one, two, three, four. There's a two and a flower, and we have tiles we can pass. Don't even have to look at the card. There's a four, a six, we got another flower. So we have a six crack, a white dragon, and we have all the tiles in our range, one through four. This is when you pick a hand to whittle down your options. We have two flowers, so I would play a hand with the flowers. There are three hands with flowers in consecutive run. The third one down, one, two, three, three consecutive Kongs. So our multiple is with the one. So if we do one, two, three, we'd have to use that for the missing three. Or we could do one, two, or one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, mixed suit Kongs. That's an option. So I wanna keep those. And then the other hand is one with a dragon. Now that red dragon we probably should have kept, but maybe it'll come back because the fifth hand down uses a dragon. So in this scenario, we might even be able to use one, two, one, two, one, two, second from the bottom. So let's go ahead and risk passing the dragon. I think passing the dragon is better than passing like numbers. Passing like numbers is almost as bad as passing a pair, in my opinion. So we're going to give these up. Building around the one. So we've got a four, eight, east. That's the first eight. Two, four, six, eight might have been a good choice. So here, that four is too far from one in mixed suits. 
unless we did one, two, three, four, four, but we have a gap of no three. That one, two, three, four, four is the fourth hand down. Pairs in three consecutive numbers and then the fourth number conged and we have a gap. So I would not pick a gap hand. This has no gaps. This has no gaps. So we're gonna pass these. So we have like numbers here that we're gonna break up. We'll pass one of each suit. We got a one. That's a keeper. And we have tiles we can pass. We got a four. We could keep it. Here's another four. Now, one, two, three, four, four. The BAM is the one that we would want if we played that fifth hand down. So I don't think that's going to be good here. So we have one, two, one, two. That one, two, one, two hand, second from the bottom, pairs are needed there instead of a pung. So I think either the one, two dragon or the one, two, three mixed suit Kongs would be better. And that way we can pass three in the optional cross. Maybe we can get that red dragon back. Nope. Oh, but we got that four. So we have three discards. If we did one, two, three, nope, this is the wrong four. We need a, we need a four dot, which we gave up. So here, I think if I were to pick a hand, I would pick mix soup Kongs and we have six discards. We do have lots of numbers or tiles in our range, one through four, but still they're so spread out. I wouldn't pick a hand. I would just gather almost like starting over from the beginning. So I think in comparison with the discards and the gaps, the year category was a much better category for these tiles. Let me know if you would have done anything differently or if you saw a different opportunity, write it in the comment section below. I hope you give this exercise a try. It really is a great way to test your instincts. Look at those drawn tiles, pick what you think is the strength, but see if there's a plan B, and then go through the Charleston, focused on the strength that you see, and do it again with plan B and compare results. Let me know if it helps your decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.